Hey guys, my name is Jess McDonnell. It's the 7th of May and you are tuned in to GameSpot News. Things have gone from bad to worse for Nintendo as they've just posted a $457 million loss. The publisher are blaming poor Wii U sales for the monumental figure since they've only sold 2.72 million of them over the last 12 months, with lifetime sales currently sitting at 6.17 million units. In comparison, the PS4 has sold over 7 million units but has only been out for around 6 months. In their financial statement, Nintendo said the Wii U hardware still has a negative impact on Nintendo's profits, owing mainly to its markdown in the United States and Europe, and unit sales of software, which has high profit margins, did not grow sufficiently. On the other side of the coin, the 3DS is continuing to perform well, with hardware sales sitting at 12.24 million. The most popular 3DS game of the year was Pokemon X and Y, followed by Animal Crossing New Leaf. On the topic of the 3DS, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire remakes are going to be due out this year. Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire will be revamped into Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire respectively, and both have a release date in November of 2014. The games are touted to be a fresh take on the originals, both of which made their initial debuts more than a decade ago in 2003. The Pokemon Company says the new titles promise to take place through a dramatic story within a spectacular new world. Let me know if this is the remake you were looking for or not. According to a report from the International Data Corporation, the PS4 is going to top the Xbox One by selling 51 million units by 2016. Games Industry International was privy to a preview of the report, which had a bunch of other industry tidbits to share as well. Even though they reckon the PS4 will one-up the Xbox One, they also think that Microsoft's console could beat Sony's if they decide to offer up an Xbox One without the Kinect attached, presumably lowering the price by a fair amount and reducing Reducing the presence of a Kinect by 100%. Specifically, the firm have said the presumed unbundling of Kinect and Xbox One, which should facilitate rough price parity between it and the PS4, should lead to a spike in Xbox One sales. Assuming the console and sensor are unbundled in 2015, IDC expects Xbox One to recover and emerge with the largest installed base of any console in North America by the end of 2016. The IDC also added that traditional disc-based retail will continue to decline and that by 2019, over 50% of total game spending across all consoles will be conducted through digital channels. Let me know how much of the report you buy into and whether you reckon the Xbox One or the PS4 is going to win out by 2016. You can drop your thoughts in that commenting section down below or on my Twitter where I'm at Jess McDonald. That's all the good things I have to tell you about today, but tomorrow I'll have a bunch more news, so check back with me then.